Hello you guys, so I decided to make some salmon for my dogs as a treat for the day because I just moved, things are kind of hectic, and I forgot to restock on treats. So I went vegan at the beginning of 2019 and I still had fish left over from when I was pescatarian and we figured we'd just eat it but we haven't eaten it yet and it's been about five months so I'm gonna give it to the dogs as their treat for today. So salmon's really good for inflammation and joint issues and my dogs are 11 and 8 so we do have some arthritis issues here and there and why not give them salmon for the day. Maxie's sitting in the exact same spot as when I defrosted the fish. They are pretty lazy. Okay, so it's been a few hours and the fish has completely defrosted and it's ready to be cooked. Buying an entire bag of salmon and just overcooking it or drying it out is way cheaper than buying the salmon dog treats. So the ones that's like salmon and glycerin. I know some of them are just the meat without glycerin or any other ingredients, but a lot of them have added ingredients. And a big bag of salmon like this is like 11, 13 dollars. And that's the exact same bag as little bits of salmon jerky or chicken jerky. So if you have it, then it's great for your dogs. So I have cooked the salmon, it is ready, and I'm chopping it up in little bits for my dog. I kind of overcooked it just a little bit so that I could get some pieces that are jerky-like. The dogs love to chew on those pieces. Of course, Roxy smelled something good and came to the kitchen. She's always the first to enter the kitchen whenever I'm cooking something. So I gave her a little piece of jerky. Max, come here. Maxie, you want a treat? So here's the end result. Chopped up jerky from fish I already had in the freezer. Now you guys, don't add any seasoning or oil or anything to this fish. I didn't even add anything to the pan and it came right off the pan very easily. So maybe use a nonstick pan. The, da the dogs don't need any added salt or seasoning or grease or oils because that's just too much for them. And my little doggies are tiny and they already need to lose a bit of weight, the vet just told me. But yeah, so they really enjoyed this treat and it was really easy, way cheaper. If you already have a big bag of fish at home to just make these for your dogs instead. This was just a random, I needed a quick treat for them. So I'm glad I had these in the freezer. Thank you so much for watching you guys. Please like and subscribe if you like this video and I'll talk to you later.